guys welcome back hope you all are doing great so today we learn about another important concept of java that is method overriding in the earlier video we talked about method overloading which was a fairly easy concept and then the interview question was also embedded in that so if you haven't watched that video i would recommend you to watch that video as well as it is very important today we we'll learn about method overriding um, these two concepts all basically in uh, object oriented concept that is polymorphism and uh, today we'll learn about it okay so let's start uh, method overriding what is it first of all uh, basically same name same parameters that is method overriding method overloading was same name different parameters but in method overriding we have the same method signature so the name of the method as well as the parameters of the methods are the same okay so we have a class parent here which has a method hello uh, this is an instance method and it has a single parameter a which is an integer and we have a child class which extends the parent class and it basically overrides the hello method in itself as well where we have the same method parameters that is integer uh, okay so uh, in the parent class basically i'm printing hello from parent and in the child class i'm printing hello from child and uh, both the method signatures are the same now if i just invoke these statements in the code that is the reference type and the instance type both are the child here and i'm invoking the hello method from this object now my expectation is that it should print hello from child that is it should invoke the hello method from the child class let's see what does it print as per our expectation uh, hello from child has been printed onto the console if i just change this reference of the child class to the parent class okay i have changed the reference type to the parent now whereas i am instantiating it via the child class now is when method overriding actually comes into play so what the compiler does is it checks that uh, is the method present in the parent class and it sees that yes hello method is there in the parent class but at the runtime jvm sees whether this method has been overridden in the child class so it sees that it has been overridden so it, in this case as well it it would print hello from child as jvm at runtime would invoke the hello method from the child class okay let's quickly see that as we see it prints hello from child in this case as well okay so that was uh, the basic concept of method overriding now let's see some method overriding rules which you should keep in mind uh before you know implementing method overriding in your code okay so first rule is that the parameters should be same we've already learned it next is that the return types of both the overridden methods must be compatible so what does compatible exactly mean return type must be the same or subclass type so subclass type is allowed but parent class or any other class for that sort is not allowed uh, let's quickly demonstrate this as well here for example i'm just keeping it string uh, okay returning null here i'm keeping it as object and returning null as well okay now as we see the code throws a compiler error why because in the parent class we have the return type as string but in the child class we have it as object so object is not a subclass of string it is a super class of string so that's why object is not allowed here if we read the compiler error the return type is incompatible with the parent so that was it if i just replace these two then it should work put an object here and string here then as we see there is no compiler error and the code compiles successfully why because string in this class is a subclass of object so the return type should either be the same or subclass type 
okay now the third rule that for method overriding is that the overridden method cannot be less accessible so this is regarding access modifiers that is the access modifier should either be the same or it should be the friendlier in the child class if you just demonstrate this as well here in the parent as well as the child both the uh, access modifiers is public so it compiles successfully now let's make it for example private as we know private method is obviously less friendlier than the public that's why the compiler throws a compiler error here uh, what does it say it says cannot reduce the visibility of the inherited method from parent that's pretty clear message from compiler that the overridden method cannot be less accessible so if you put in private hair that should work it works if i put in public hair now it should work as well why because in the child class the return uh, the access modifier is friendlier than the parent class okay so these were the three method overriding rules which you should keep in mind i would recommend you to take a note of these because these are very important while overriding methods okay we have talked about instance methods but what about the other uh, members which can be there in a class for example instance fields static methods static fields what about them can they be overridden as well so the answer will be given later in this video but first let's talk about field hiding why haven't i written field overriding here there is a reason behind it because member fields cannot be overridden like methods when a subclass defines a field with the same name the subclass just declares the new field and the field in the superclass is hidden so in case of fields they are not overridden but are hidden so uh, as we saw there are various rules for method overriding if the fields are just hidden there must be no rules basically to declare them so yes you're correct there are no rules while field hiding for field hiding only the variable name should be the same the data type or the access modifier doesn't matter in this case there is an integer field a inside the parent class and there is a string a inside the child class so the field in the child class basically hides the super classes field and if you want to access the super classes field we can use the super keyword so super dot a would access the uh, field in the parent class so that was about field hiding and same is the case for all the other members we've already seen field hiding so that applies to both instance fields as well as static fields now instance method is done instance field is done static field is done static methods they're also not overridden and instead they are hidden okay so now let's come on to the next point can static members be overridden we have already answered it no static members be it static methods or static fields cannot be overridden they are just hidden by the child class as written in the note here that if a subclass defines a static method with the same signature as a static method in the superclass the method in the superclass is hidden by the method in the subclass so that's what we just discussed okay so to summarize instance method they can be overridden however if the instance method is final it will throw a compiler error that is it cannot be hidden at all so let me quickly demonstrate it i'll just make it public and i'll put in the final keyword in both the methods okay as we see uh, there is a compiler error being thrown let's read it out cannot override the final method from parent so instance methods can be overridden however they'll throw a compiler error if we override final instance methods okay let's move on to the next point so rest everything that is the instance field static method and static field can only be hidden irrespective of whether it's final or not that is if we try to override instance field or static method or static field all three of them can only be hidden even if you put the final keyword in front of them so that doesn't matter in this case 
so that was pretty much it about this video i know that's a lot to grasp in a single video if you have any doubts i'll be happy to answer it in the comment section below i would recommend you to watch this video again if you are a bit confused okay so i'll meet you in the next video goodbye have a nice day